Hi everybody, it's me, it's Monday, Cinnamon Hearts. Um, the other day I was watching Snark who uh, snarked a triumph. You're not sub to her. I don't know why you are. Go ahead and sub to her. You may not get a response from her because that's just the way she rolls. She can just sit down with her cup of coffee. Excuse me, I'm trying to... Steaming cup of coffee, because that's the only way she drinks it, if it's red hot, boiling hot. That woman amazes me. And you can see the steam coming out of her cup, right? So you know it's hot. I couldn't believe how she can sit there and just talk and talk and be so interesting. I have been trying to think of something all day. It's now like 20 to 3 or something my time. And all I can come up with is, why is it that when you taste tuna, like making a tuna sandwich, you cannot get that taste of tuna out of your mouth? That's why I'm trying to eat these cinnamon hearts and get rid of this uh, fish taste. And another thing I wanted to tell you was, that was really interesting. Yeah. Say you're making up tuna sandwiches, right? And say in your, your refrigerator that you've got one egg, one or two eggs left. And you just don't know whether you want to fry them up or if you're going to eat them at all or uh, whatever. Boil that egg or two eggs hard boil them um, and then once they're cooled chop them up into your tuna fish salad mix for a sandwich and I'm telling you you haven't tasted anything like it you put your tuna fish out of the can mix it in with um, onion if you like um, celery and green pepper and your Miracle Whip salad dressing or whatever type you like and you chop your egg in there a little bit of pepper maybe a bit of uh, seasoning salt I'm telling you they are the best sandwiches but what you also can do with that mix if you really want to you can spread the tuna fish and boiled egg mixture onto a um, the one half of a bun or bread whatever um, and you lay a piece of cheese over top and you put them in the oven just for a few minutes till that cheese melts <laughs> that's really good I thought that I'd pass that on to you today and in a moment I'll probably hear my egg boiling like crazy on the stove Ooh, have you ever gone outside when you've been boiling eggs on the stove and you forget and they boil down to nothing and burn and blacken? That has got to be the worst odor ever and so hard to get out of your house. I've done it once. Just once. <laughs> I remembered why I had gone out, left the eggs boiling that day back in the 70s um, was because this fellow walked by with one of those one of those dogs like Don Cherry has my neighbor across the street has one the, the bulldogs you know those Don Cherry from the hockey he had blue the little uh, white uh, bull terriers they're called he got that funny shaped face and the little eyes well this guy was walking it in front of my house so I had to go out and see it. It was the first time I had ever seen one. And this was just a little pup. And they're really cute when they're puppies. And so I'm out there talking to this fellow while my eggs are boiling, right? And I, uh, when I was petting, I was kneeling down. like, And I was petting his dog. And I was looking up at him. Talk, I was talking to him about the dog. And these dogs are known for, because the way their head is shaped, they can butt into things and they don't feel anything right so this dog was playing with me and all of a sudden 
it jumped up and it head bunted me. <laughs> it head bunted me. I remember this now. And uh, it split open my... <laughs> it split the skin on my forehead. And I started to bleed. And the, the <laughs> that's why I went back in the house. Because the guy apologized and I... I said, oh, you know, your puppy's just playing. That's all. That's that's okay. That's, I'm dripping all over. <laughs> yeah. And I, uh, it was very embarrassing, and I had to run into the house. And when I went into the house like this, holding my head, <laughs> don't look at my nails because they're in really bad shape. As I was holding my head, then I could smell this smell. And it was, <laughs> it was the... So not only was I bleeding, but I had to, oh, I had to clear the house of this smell and try and get this black and stuff out of my bottom of my saucepan. Uh, well, what can you do? Um, yeah, so that's about all I wanted to share that with you. And um, that uh, tomorrow I go, I think it's tomorrow, tomorrow or Wednesday, forget which now, I go for a breathing test about these clavicle they're still they still don't know what these the swelling in the clavicle is I've gone for x-ray showed nothing I've gone for blood work I don't know what the results are of that yet all the vials of blood they took from me then I went and had an EKG and um, EKG or ECG whatever they are for your heart and that done and yeah now I gotta go for a breathing test and I I really truly believe all for naught. I like that expression. I think it's all for naught. I do believe it's just uh, fat deposits from the fact that my face has fallen and my neck and the waddle and everything and it's all piling up here. So pretty soon I'll have like big shoulder pads and it will just be from the uh, tissue in my clavicles. It's sunny here today, and I love it. Alrighty, everybody. Um, have a great day. All of you, um, the old regulars from uh, YouTube. Naughty, naughty. Get your buns and gear and make some videos. Because once you've been away from it for a while, it is hard to start again. You feel a little nervous, yes, but it's just us. So, uh, as you can see, you can talk about nothing. <laughs> talk to y'all soon. Bye for now. I'm out of here.